I'm right here in Austin, Texas. I'm in Austin, Texas on, uh, what it is? What is it, 6th Street? East 6th Street. On East 6th Street at a place called uh, Revelry. Rainy? Okay, Rainy Street, place called Revelry. It's a sucker up here at the front. It's a sucker right here at the front. This sucker nigga right here talking about I need some ID to get in somewhere. Huh? Don't worry about it. This sucker right here, this sucker right here talking about I need some ID to get in somewhere. Any nigga with some shoes like that ain't gonna keep me out of nowhere, man. Any nigga wear them peppermint pattern shoes. That man got on, this man got on a guy, a Walmart Versace shirt while with them got Ross, them Ross pants. And, and the head. Well, what your nipple hard for, man? Why your nipple hard for, man? That boy got, got that. That boy got them thick ass ankles. But look at that boy ankle poking out the side of them peppermint pattern shoes. Well, what is that velvet? What is that velvet? Hell no. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you too, buddy. We on him right now, though. But look at the ass shoes. Well, who gave you them guy ass shoes, boy? Your grandma put them up in a birthday card. Was for five, six dollars, didn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. Pardon me. Pardon me, ma'am. All right, now. All right. All right. Back to your whole business. Yeah, man. So if y'all in Austin, just make sure you don't come to Revelry. That's all. Be, Y'all be cool, man. Come catch us at Cap City tonight. Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother and this is why I say I would never like to meet some of my favorite rappers, entertainers, actors, none of them, right? Because of shit like this. Now, he got a good ass argument and a good case. Dude should have known who he was, even though he's 15 years removed from when he was hot. Not only that, he's an icon and a legend rapper, right? That goddamn trap music was a classic. I bought the king and I love I'm Serious. However, a buddy at the front looked like he about 32. So you do the math. The T.I. was hot. His hottest at 2005. That's 19 years ago. We'll just round up because we're a month away from 2025. It's about 20 years. He's 32. He'd have been 12. Yeah, he probably would have still knew who T.I. was. However, he wasn't like early 20s he wasn't a young adult at the height of ti's career so he probably don't know or he probably don't give a fuck right he's on the you know what i'm saying newer and and i ain't gonna say better rappers but newer more contemporary artists right that make shitty music however ti is approaching this shit like his son king and this is the crazy shit because he gets on king uh for you know what i'm saying disrespecting people and at his age, I think T.I. is like, what, 43, 44? There should be a level of humility and humbleness that you have. The guy should have known who he was. He was just doing his job, though. To down the man because he had on a Walmart Versace shirt, as he called it, and some velvet shoes. The economy's kicking everybody ass. And everybody wasn't fortunate enough to become a world-renowned rapper. So I think that was petty. He could have just left it alone or showed a fucking ID. Some things as people we don't need to do, but to humiliate the man and you know, roast him, that wasn't cool in the least bit. There are a lot of things that are like that aren't beneath me. That one actually is. I would have actually just let that go, show my ID, or just moved along, right? But shit on the restaurant, right? Telling people don't come to reveries, they didn't, what the fuck they do? They employed somebody to do a job that they pay him to do. And I think that should have been respected. However, us niggas can't just leave well enough alone. And that's where I take points away from my man T.I. But it goes back to what I was originally saying. This is why I wouldn't want to meet none of my... I ain't going to say idols. I'm too fucking old for that. But I did look up to the nigga. I ain't going to front. He was light-skinned. And ain't too many light-skinned, double, triple, platinum rappers icons that we got maybe busy bone but by himself without bone thugs and harmony it just don't add up and we just don't got a lot of them out here right dark skin niggas is beating us out when it comes to sports and it comes to rap for every mahomes they got a goddamn i'm gonna say russell wilson but they got some dope ass dark skin niggas that's leading the league right mahomes is the first light-skinned quarterback doing his thing and even those games look rigged however 
we don't got a lot of rappers that's light skin that's doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, dark skin niggas is beating south. They got Tupac, DMX, Jay Z, Nas, whatever. Ain't the best we got is this nigga, Busy Bone, and Immortal Technique. Big pun if you want to throw him in the fold. He Puerto Rican, that don't really count, but we'll just let it slide. In any event, if y'all like this episode, you know what to do. And I'm out. <laughs>